Meanwhile, at the Council of Voices... Ugh, I feel like absolute asshole. That wretched dance was more than a week ago, and yet I still feel this hungover. What an abominable dark magic. Yeah, and we have Captain Crack Coffee to think for that one. Well, excuse me for trying to spice up that lame-ass party. Besides, I wasn't the one who legoed 2,000 pounds of Eggo on everyone's head. Oh, dear me! I wonder who could have been responsible for that! Hey, Seven, can you pass the syrup? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that mosh pit might have gotten a little out of hand, too. Huh, Kurt? I'm so sorry for elbow dropping you in the face! Ah, uh, it's okay, Fuji. I probably shouldn't have planted my face in your boobs. Uh, uh, Kurt? Oh, right. I forgot. Well, at least I got to punch Kamala in the face. That's a win in my book. Uh, I think the experience may have messed him up a bit, though. Waffles. So many waffles. So much despair. Great. Looks like he's fallen into despair again. Does that mean we get to do the thing? Oh, oh, I called dibs this time. We only use that in a murder disease. Give him a second to recover. Ow. Oh. oh, by the way, how current? Tell your mom she left her panties back at my place. She wants to come get them. Or, you know, if she just wants to fool around again. Wait, what? No way, you had sex with her too. Guess that explains who that other person in the room was. I'm not hearing this! I believe we had sex with her as well. Yeah, she just kind of hopped right in as the security chief and I were doing it in the parking lot. Damn, your mom's a real freak, hog, hurry. La 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 la, I can't hear you! La 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 la. I'm just happy I got to spend the night with my beloved white knight. That never happened! Don't you dare go spreading rumors! Then why do you smell so weird, Tagami? Well, that's... Uh, anyway, what the hell are we even doing here, Judge? Yeah, please tell me we're not here to plan another dumb dance. No, this meeting today is strictly business. As I'm sure you all noticed walking in here, the council's repairs are finally finished, and the building has returned to its former glory. Wait, what happened to that weird cat face? And why has it been replaced with the head of a small child? Oh, well, it just seemed more... Appropriate. Appropriate in what way? Darn it, you guys shut up. I'm trying, trying to, save to save the world, the world for God's, God's sake. sake. Uh, is the villain talking to us right now? Yeah, he will do that from time to time. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Hey, honey boy, you talking, talking with your brain, brain people again? again? Yes, yes, Mr. Drippy. Something to do with Eggo waffles and sex with someone's mom. Mr. Drippy, what's sex? Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not touching that. We have your mom answer that when we finish saving her. she's confused. Hopefully, Studio Ghibli doesn't sue us for this shit. I said, don't worry about it! Huh. <sighs> anyway, in addition to the repairs, the council has also received a number of upgrades. What kind of upgrades? You guys ready for your minds to be blown? Check this shit out. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, what exactly is that? Say hello to our brand new state-of-the-art supercomputer. Pretty sleek, isn't it? Oh, I bet we can watch some good yaoi on this. It seems kind of over the top. Then again, I guess that's sort of the running theme we got going on here. Are you sure we can even afford this? Ah, oh, it's fine. I paid for it using Tagami's credit cards. Wait, you did what? <laughs> that's so awesome. Old man, I can sue you for that. Yeah, go ahead. Sue me. Take this to court. But you know who's going to be the judge of that case? That's right. Me, bitch. So sit your ass down, Tagami. Ugh. I swear to God, I will get you for this. I'll get over it. You're rich as fuck anyway. So, what exactly are we going to use this thing for? The computer is primarily going to be used as a data archive. It contain information about every voice here, meaning every moment you were a part of, every contribution you made, and every dumb inside joke that came from it will all be stored right in here. That's actually kind of terrifying. So, the Library of Shadows spawned from the most forbidden of spells. It really does exist. This feels like a massive violation of our privacy. I want all of my private moments to decide to stay private. Thank you very much. You idiots. These are all things we have on record anyway. We've just converted from paper form to digital form. Paper form? Seriously, how old is this council? Anyway, this brings me to the reason I brought you all here today. In the process of converting, I noticed that a number of the older files were irreparably damaged by the meteor that had crashed here a while back. Which means... Oh man, I don't like where this is going. We're gonna need to update this info manually. <laughs> so you brought us in here to do clerical work? Yeah, that's really how I wanted to spend my day. Calm your tits, everyone. Like I said, this isn't any ordinary computer. It's a super computer, which means it's gonna make this shit easy peasy turkey cheesy. How so? Using its high powered electromagnetic scanner, the computer can scan your brain waves and convert your memories into data. So all you lazy assholes need to do is just sit there and remember shit. That's actually even more terrifying. That won't turn us into gel pen as will it? Oh, that's amazing. 
Hey, old man, do you mind if I use this computer on my next despairingly evil plan? Fuck no. You didn't pay for this thing. Technically, neither did you. So what information does this thing need from us? The earliest memories of some of our longest serving members. In other words, your origin stories. Origin stories? So basically like the moment we sprang into existence or something. Yep, which means we're going back. Way back. All the way back to those awkward moments where we sounded like shit. Oh man. Well, this is going to be humiliating. What's the point? What's the point of doing any of this? How can we possibly live in a world where waffles are allowed to exist? There's no hope. No hope for any of- Okay, screw it. How about a seven? Oh, goody. Eat bagel, bitch! But more importantly... Bagels! Oh, of course. How could I possibly forget? No matter how many waffles there are, it will always give way to an even greater bagel. I think I liked him better the other way. Oh, hey everybody. How long has this meeting been going? What was that one for? That was for me, Judge. That was for me. All right, well, why don't we start things off with our oldest member. Monokuma, you're up. Ha! Huh? Looks like having seniority is finally paying off. Actually, now that I think about it, why aren't I the leader of this council? Because you're fucking psycho. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Computer, initiate brain scanning. Oh, that tickles. I'll get my revenge. You better watch your back, you little bastard. Bad to go. Uh -huh. See you later, huh? Wait, seriously? That's it? That little two-second mention? Was that recorded on a potato? I was right. You really are just a bad Mickey Mouse impression. Shut it, Jesus of Nazar douche! It's true that I had very humble beginnings, but it wasn't until Danganronpa that I finally found my true calling. Oh no. It's evil Sergeant Barrington. Nah. Uh, hey buddy. Oh, look at you with the white and the black and the evil. Huh? A, a teddy bear? I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokumo. And I'm the headmaster here. Yes, I'm your headmaster. I own all of you bitches. Oh, what a beautiful moment. Really brings a tear to my eye. It only serves to remind me of all the stupid bullshit you put us through. I've never looked at plushies the same way again, dude. I wish I could forget that day. Well, too bad, because you're about to remember more, huh, Curry? No, please don't. I don't want to. They called me Yoshio Agakara. Nice meeting you, dude. I'm a reggae, I'm a badass reggae mofo. I should go at Kuge, the supernova. Poster shot for the new age of fortune telling. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. Mm, what's up? A vision, I had a vision, dude. So with my own two eyes, true as truth. Wow, your voice was almost tolerable back then. I actually think it was kind of hot. Yeah, it was almost as sexy as mine. They all happened to it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it took me some time to realize that I was such a giant pussy underneath. So you're the one I have to thank for the Larry voice, huh? You have no idea the hell you put my and I through. I don't know, Nick. I really didn't think it was that bad. Shut up! It was hell, all right? Freaking hell. Well, at least it wasn't as bad as Tagami's origin. What? Oh, I've got to see this. I don't know what you're talking about. I have nothing to hide. Go ahead, scan away. Something about his posture seemed very refined, and Jubei couldn't help feeling he was noble and dignified somehow. He certainly never seen one, but this man seemed like what Junpei had ima always imagined a prince would be like. And that's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Perhaps this, this Zero fellow, he has used some sort of remote control to seal, seal a water tight. Door lower down. He said that our timeline was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Mm, is that really the same voice? He usually thinks it sounds different. It's back before I evolved into the voice of sophistication you all hear today. Someone in this room is probably already plotting their way out of here. And you expect me to let any of you get anywhere near me? Wait, nobody here? You can't be so sure of that. Nor are you. Just look at how scared you all were when Monokuma explained graduation. Or was that something else? Jeez, I'm having trouble deciding which voice I found douchey. Old Tagami and new Tagami. Huh, that's weird. I don't remember it happening that way at first. Shut up, Hanga Kure. Wait, what does he mean? Hmm, seems we'll have to go even further back. No, wait! <laughs> Oh, baby, here we go! Byakia, ah, uh, 
Yeah, I'm Miyaki Itagami. What am I? I'm the high school scion, apparently. Yeah. Only thing, we're done with the introductions. How long do you, do you intend to stand there? I can't stand the sight of you. Disappear. Oh my god. Oh my god. No freaking way. You were originally given the most Rige voice? Ah! <laughs> oh, oh man. I'm crying tears of pure caffeine right now. <laughs> god is truly just. Shut up, all of you. It wasn't my fault that asshole thought just because I had glasses I deserved the Moshe Rige voice. It was only a phase. It doesn't count. I've just got to make you feel a little better about yourself, eh, Moshe Rige? <coughs> hey, where the hell is that dork? Nobody's seen him since the dance. Mm, last time I saw him, he rebroke one of his arms trying to lift that giant bagel. Actually, Jack seems to be missing today, too. Hey, you two. You were both the gatekeepers, weren't you? What happened to him? I don't remember Moshe Rige ever showing up that night. Hmm. I do appear to have a pair of nuts unaccounted for, though. Damn, I bet you're into some pretty kinky stuff, security chick. Ow! Hey, little man, what happened to your annoying obsession with me? Well, maybe that's him now. Oh, man, I just dropped a serious new. You guys may want to avoid going in there for a few weeks. Oh, what's the matter? Relax, I wash my hands, all right? Uh, Mushirige? The hell's a Mushirige? What the hell are you is a better question. What, have you lived under a rock your whole life or something? It's me, Donald fucking Duck! What the hell? I thought you were gonna introduce me, old man! Sorry, must have slipped my mind. I was also kind of hoping you wouldn't show up. What was that? I said you're sitting in the wrong seat. Your chair's over there. My bad, my bad. Oh, sweet. I guess spot next to the girl with the big jugs. Hot fucking duck! Hey, toots, you wanna see my magic staff? She's lighting out of it. Uh, no thanks. I I'm sorry. Do, do I really have to be the one to say this? There's no way you're the real Donald Duck. Huh? What do you mean? You sound absolutely nothing like him. Yeah, you sound more like the mutant offspring of Maya and Fukawa. Really? I don't hear it. Yeah, me neither. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this more what you were expecting? <laughs> well, yeah, actually. That's just the voice I put on when I'm working. What, you actually thought I talked like that all the fucking time? You have any idea how badly that would kill my voice? Not to mention I can barely enunciate when I talk like that. Nobody can understand what the fuck I'm trying to say! Can't really say this voice is much of an improvement. Great. Now we have to worry about lawsuits from Studio Ghibli and Disney. What exactly are you doing here anyway? What do you think, hot stuff? I'm a Nico voice, just like all of you! Hell, I'd even go so far as to say I'm the best voice here! Oh god, let's not have this conversation again. Well, I for one think it's good. I was thinking we needed more talking anthropomorphic animals around here. You know, aside from me and that goody two-shoes there. I will take that as a compliment. Oh hey, King Mickey! What? I didn't know you were on the council too. I thought you were still out fighting heartless. What happened to you? You got kind of fat. <laughs> Oh my god, that is just too perfect. Ho 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 ho! Looks like I'm gonna have me some roasted duck tonight! So, what did I misjudge? We were just wondering what happened to Moshe Rige. Who's that? The nerdy one. Alright, him. He's probably dead. Why'd you say that? I don't know. I saw a picture of him earlier. He just seemed like one of those guys that shit happens to all the time. Well, he's not wrong. Whatever it is, there better be a damn good reason for missing this meeting. Yeah, please don't eat me! Ha! <laughs> Huh? I'm... I'm alive? What the dicks? Nope. I'm definitely dead. How the hell do I open this? Hey! Anyone in there? I think I'm dead! And I'm guessing this is heaven, so could you let me in? Unless this is hell, in which case don't let me in! Ends up being hell. I'm gonna be mega pissed. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello, Moshe Rige. Whoa, what the hell? It seems you have finally arrived. Wait, aren't you Michael Jackson? That's right, Moshe Rige. I've been waiting almost three millennia for your arrival here today. But I thought you died less than ten years ago. Shh, shh, shh. don't think about it, Moshe Rige. Just accept it. Your destiny. Oh, God. If you're here, that must mean I really am dead. Relax, you aren't dead, Mushirige. Really? I could have sworn a dinosaur wielding a chainsaw ate me earlier. Oh, he did. What? In fact, you're inside his stomach right now. Wait, Wait what? what? <laughs> he 
sure you can't stay longer? No, sorry. I forgot there's a council meeting tonight. I'm already late as it is. Okay, well, I'll see you soon, right? Yeah, you still gotta show me what level comes after second base. Damn straight, girl. Okay, bye. God, I love her so fucking demon much. Oh, wait, if I'm inside the dinosaur, why the hell is there a temple in here? With Michael Jackson's severed head! This temple represents your heart, Mushirige, and I have been chosen as your spirit guide to help you on the path to unlocking your hidden potential. That's fucking ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense at all! Hmm. Well, I suppose the other possibility is that the fumes from the dino's stomach acid are causing you to hallucinate. You aren't even aware that you're melting away as the dinosaur slowly but surely digests your body. On second thought, I think I like your first theory better. Oh, good. Well, in that case, it is time then, Moshirige, to begin your trials. Only then will you be able to uncover the power hidden inside you and unlock your true potential. You know, I feel like I had this conversation recently, and it didn't end well for me. For the first trial, you must remember. What is it that brought you here? Nico's hatred towards me? No, before that. Long before you were even called Moshirige. Tell me about your earliest memory. My earliest memory? Well, let's see. I, I think it was. I'm sorry, I really scare you. Uh, oh, it's okay. I was wasn't expecting you. Oh. <laughs> That's my nerdy voice. I'm Sandra. Hi, I'm Alan Winters. Oh. Why look at there was a dog? I think someone attacked it. I didn't see what it was. There's a lot of blood. It went to the cellar of our house. Hmm. Must have been a must have been a coyote. Those things are always around here. Okay, my nerdy voice is not going so well. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm gonna jump in between country bumpkin and gay guy. <laughs> wow, you sounded like crap back then. What the hell? You saw that? Of course I did. As your spirit guide, I have the ability to read your thoughts, Moshirige. Oh. Okay. That makes perfect sense. But when did that voice truly become yours, Moshirige? Well, I guess it had to be. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. I never hope to compete with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm a 60 year old student at Kisaragi High Class. Game in theater. My use of... What? Your voice really didn't get much better from there, did it? <sighs> Gee, thanks, Michael Jackson. You're welcome. Um, for what? Saying you have the nicest pair of buns this side of Walt Disney World. Um, on karma? On it. On what? 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 Okay, I can see now how that may have been interpreted negatively. While we're on the subject of Ashina's bonds, <laughs> Oh, you're up next, Ashina. Fantastic. You can use this room, Miss Mr. Room. Forgive the old-fashionedness. It ain't nothing. <laughs> Dude, she, uh, she is more of like a freaking southern. It ain't nothing. It's kind of like your rich with thing. Thanks, thanks again, Gramps. Get the fuck out, Mermaid Swamp. Mermaid Swamp! <laughs> Let's save this game right now, Swamp. Uh oh, so that's where the Mermaid Swamp thing came from. Yep. Now that I think about it, I haven't said that in a while. What's up? I'm Aoi Ashina. Good to meet you. Oh, yeah, bitches. I think I'm gonna go with the Mermaid Swamp, boys. Uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally sent my mind. Uh, Makoto Nagi. Oh, yeah, 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 something like that, whatever that. Sure, yeah, it's all good. I won't forget it, whatever your doodly name is. I feel like your voice is both appropriate and inappropriate at the same time. That sounds more like your voice to me. Seriously, your voice sounds like someone who's been smoking for 40 years. Oh, God. My white knight has just insulted me. Do it again, just like you did last night. Damn it, will you stop talking about that? B because it never happened. Seriously, though, what is the story behind that voice? Well, let's find out. Wait, whoa! <laughs> yeah, why, why are you staring at me? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already liking this person. Don't you look at me, I'm some sort of filthy obscene thing. Oh god, never mind. <laughs> what? Uh, well, she was worried about you because you locked yourself in there. Leave me alone. Um, would you just open the door for me? I won't let her run. I won't let her run free. Guess the cat's out of the bag. Whatevs. What can you do? Super Duper High School Somicidal Maniac. Is that issue here? Real name's Tuku Fuka, but screw that. Nah, I'm really sure that answers my question. I think maybe it's because I was in so many serious scenes early on. After a while, the girly voice and the dramatic deeper voice I had eventually fused into one or something. Wow, that uh, almost makes sense. I still think it sounds weird. I do! 
Well, if you don't like it, maybe I'll just cut off your tongue and try your voice instead. Bah! Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. You got plenty of tongue as it is. All right. Almost forgot you could do that. Can't let the book nerd have all the fun, now can I? Now, which one of you sexy men wants a haircut? Got it! Damn. Damn! Mermaid Swamp! All right, Mushirie, it's time for us to move on to the second trial, the physical trial. Oh, God. That sounds painful. This test will push your body to its absolute limit. Now, follow me to the trials room. What, in Mayu's giblets? There's a gym in here? Of course there is, silly. How do you think I stay in such amazing shape? I, I can't tell if you're joking. Are you joking? All right, Mushirige. Let's get to work. Working out inside a T-Rex Getting buff, staying nerdy Hoping to God that I won't be digested Before I can learn how to fly So many times I've been left behind Always the butt of the jokes but now I'm strong, I am Optimus Prime Gonna fight for my right not to die It's the Yamo Shirige, it's a cry in the night Running laps around all of my opponents I'll cross the finish line and raise my fist towards the sky And you'll know when you hear the Nia Moshirige Do it Moshirige do it. It's the Yamo Shirige. It's a cry in the night. Running laps around all of my opponents. I'll cross the finish line and raise my fist towards the sky. And you'll know when you hear the Nia of Mo Shirige. Well done, Mo Shirige. You've passed the second trial. Holy crap. My legs are on fire. I can barely stand up. It was necessary to wear you down physically and push you to the very brink in order to draw out your latent power. Why do we only do leg workouts? Because you are the one. You are the running Moshirige. I have no idea what you're talking about. Soon, Moshirige. It'll all become clear very soon. Now it's time for your final trial. Are you ready? Not really. Good. Now, before we start, I'm gonna need you to take your pants off. Wait, what? I'm just kidding, silly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, take your pants off. Oh, hell no. Come on, suck it up, Seven. There's no way I'm letting you scam my brain with that thing. What, Seven? Really wasn't that bad. Man, you don't know that. For all I know, that should give me a brain tumor or something. Wow, Seven, I think you're supposed to be the badass voice. Man, fuck you, bitch. Brain cancer ain't no joke. Would you like me to apply a little physical incentive, Judge? Have at it, Vaughn Crazy. I still ain't gonna do it. Donald. I got it! You got one. <laughs> oh. Hey, what the hell are you just standing there for? Do you hear him? Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. Doors are... Door on deck no good. I gotta check, check out the doors and B-deck. Got it! Now go! Go! Gah. I have to say, out of the ones we've heard thus far, yours is truly the one that has remained most consistent. I don't know. I feel like the old seven voices didn't have the same kick to the teeth feel as the current one does. Eh. Was that supposed to be a compliment? If it makes it feel better. Man, I thought you were the one who said I was nothing more than a foul mouthed gangster. Fine, you want the truth. The fact is, I'm jealous. Jealous? What you talking about, Ace? I'm jealous of your voice, all right? Why would you be jealous? Your voice is the sexiest one here. Well, you know, aside from Gatos. And don't you dare forget it. Well, my voice may have all the charm of George Clooney and the sex appeal of Liam Neeson. It will never match the badassery of your Samuel Jackson. No matter how hard I try, I'll never be that loose cannon cop on the edge who doesn't play by the rules. Not like you, Seven. Damn, that, 
That really means a lot, Ace. Never thought I'd hear that come from you. Oh, what a wonderfully heartwarming moment. But you know what that means, right? It means you a little punk ass bitch. Yeah! Seven's the king now, baby! Woo! And now it's ruined. Yeah, should've known better. Damn right, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go punch that duck in the face. Wait, no, 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 no! I got it! I got it! I got it! Ah, 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 ah. Damn it, how many of those things you got? As many as it takes till my MP runs out. Oh, shit. Sora, I need ether. Sora? Sora! Hey, you no, I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. All right, while they're working that out, Phoenix, your turn. Oh, whoa! I am Kito Ishimura. My motto is to be true to your, yourself and live with vigor and fortitude. Ha ha! Let roar the flames of our competitive spirits as we drive one another to academic superiority. Oh, so that's where your voice originated from. Uh, I thought it sounded sort of familiar. Yours really hasn't changed much either. That's what happens when you base your entire voice around someone yelling at things. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Ishimura voice for this guy because... <laughs> From what I can tell, he does a lot of yelling, and it just seems appropriate. Shut the fuck up! Oh, in the fucking court! The court is now in session for the trial of Larry Butts. Oh, my... Larry Butts! Oh, my lord! Your parents didn't love you very much, did they? Oh, oh lord! The, um... Defense is ready! Your honor. Yeah. That thing. Oh, hey! We got my first voice appearance in your origin, too. It's like a two-for-one special! Oh, and look at how young and chipper I was back then. You were a serious stud muffin, Edgy. What are you talking about? He looked exactly the same. Can you believe that was back before I even knew what a turkey sandwich was? Oh, childhood is truly a beautiful time. Wait, what? I said you can have your pants back. Why did you need them exactly? To make these. Now, behold, the legendary golden pants. These will act as the catalyst to unlocking your true power. I used the measurements from your old pants to sew these up, so they should fit perfectly on you. So that's why you wanted me to take my pants off? Of course, silly. Why else would I want to? I thought you were gonna molest me or something. Now, why would I do that? Because you're Michael Jackson! No, no, that's ignorant, no. Besides, I'm a floating disembodied head. How could I possibly molest you? Well, you did just manage to sew yourself a pair of magical pants. Listen, do you want to unlock your hidden potential or not? Ah, uh, fine. Well, how do you feel? Um... Like an asshole? No, you silly goose. I mean, how do you feel inside? Not really any different, honestly. Hmm. Looks like you're going to need to draw out the power more forcibly. How do I do that? By doing what you do best. Run. Run, Moshirige. Ah, oh, seriously? My legs are still completely dead. Push past the pain. It's the only way. All right, I'll try. Oh, hey. I think I'm starting to feel something. My legs feel warm. Even warmer. Oh, oh, now it's hot. Oh, now it's really hot. T-Rex with a chainsaw! No! It was a pleasure serving you, sir. Uh. <laughs> no! God damn you, Mushering Egg! Holy shit, are we done yet? Calm down, we only got two left. Maya, you're up. Oh good, I thought you forgot about me. The <laughs> slimy, the slimy, yes. Oh, uh, look slimy, I found a vial. Do you like vials, slimy? Yes, I love vials, Nico. Slimy, what do you have there? I don't know, Nico. Tell me what you have there. Give it to me, Nick. Give it to me, slimy. Spit it out. No, no, it's mine. Give it to me, Slimy, give it to me. So you're basically the cutesy voice, huh? Yep, I've been used for just about every animal from every Let's Play at some point, including a talking Pomeranian. All right, I think I recall him being a member here for all of five seconds. But Maya is easily the cutest of them all. Isn't that right, Nick? Sure, Maya, sure. All right, last but not least, it's my little bagel bun's turn. Truly saving the best for last. Oh, please. As the most worthless member, it's obvious that I'd be the last to go. I mean, how could I possibly compare to the brilliance that is the rest- Will you get on with it already? Okay. Uh, wait, should I get- then should I give him a Nagi's voice? What would my voice be? Okay, well, I'm gonna just give him sort of like a- my voice, I think, a little bit deeper because- So, I'll, I'll just give him a- I'll give him a deeper voice or something like this. Along with my introduction, 
I can also tell you about my talents so you know why Hope Sick Peak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you it's my case, it's pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. No, it's not a joke or anything, that's my actual talent. What the hell is this shit? You tell me your voice actually sounded normal at some point. Yeah, that was back before I realized how completely bananas I was. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I know when the turning point was. <laughs> Yep, that's about right. From then on, my voice just got crazier and crazier by the episode. Pretty sure that's not something to gloat about. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, I love you too, Aji. Oh, God. Are they about to make out? I don't think I want to see that. Not even I want to see that. Okay, so that's it. We're done now, right? Hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Jackie, where you been, girl? Sorry, I got a bit wrapped up in a gaming session with someone. <laughs> right, a gaming session. Oh, am I going into details? <laughs> Stop paying attention to other girls! Did I miss anything important? No, not really. We're just wrapping things up, actually. Uh, you guys hear that? Oh, shit, a wall! What the fuck? Mosha Rege! Where the hell did you come from? Ah, uh, dinosaur, golden pants, Michael Jackson! Sounds like someone had a kinky night. God damn it, Mosha Rege! I just had those walls repaired! You all right, Dolly boy? I don't know, Mr. Drippy. For some reason, my head really hurts. Where the hell are your pants? Huh? What? Oh no, my golden pants? They're gone! Did they rip off while I was running? Were there really any golden pants to begin with? Don't, Don't you see, see Mosherige? The golden, the golden pants, pants were inside, inside you all along, and, and you finally put them on. on. Now, now no one can outrun run you. The running, running Mosherige. Michael? And with, and with this, this, my, my job, job is finally is done. done. I may I disappear, disappear, but remember, remember Mosherige, I, I will always watch over you. Farewell! Uh, you all right, dude? I think I might have been on drugs. Join the club. It's the Yamo Shirige. It's a cry in the night. Running laps around all up my opponents. I'll cross the finish line and raise my fist towards the sky. And you'll know when you hear the knee of Mo Shirige. Wow, Mosherige, I didn't know you could run that fast. Pretty sure that's the very definition of blue blazing. Who cares about that? Look what he did to my wall! It's gonna be coming out of your wallet, Mosherige! Son of a bitch! Or you could just steal from Tagami again! Don't you even think about it. Now, now, everyone, let's try to ring Zimmo. Shut up, bitch, and go make me a sandwich! I don't even know such thing. Soon. Very soon.